Welcome back to Mythic Ocean! I haven't really brought you back on the save screen many times, but this is what it looks like now with Fables and Cycle 1 and all that stuff. But I, I just started here because I don't really get what's up with this. Why does this... This is my backup save. This is my main save. This is the one I've played the most recently. And yet this one says nine fables completed. This one is eight fables completed. What's going on there? Maybe I should... Hold on. I, I should probably make a backup of this really quick. One second. Just before I dive in and check what's happening. All right. Um... Let's go into this one, I guess? The Nine Fables one? Huh? Oh, yeah, this is from like before, this is the start of the last episode. But what do you mean, like, Nine Fables complete? And then if I go here... I would just be done, right? Yeah, hey buddy, check out that glow. And it says nine fables complete. This is strange. Uh, I mean, I guess since we're here and we're just testing stuff, might as well just see, like, can I just actually collect this thing? No, I cannot. You actually have to talk to him. Unless, let's do a test. If I talk to him and say, how do we start the new world? And then he says, you just swim into it. And then I need more time, but then I just swim into it. Nothing. Okay, and then, I mean, just for the sake of it, it's time to start the new world. Pick up the gift. I'm ready. And you just pick it up. Okay, that's all I need to see. Now, main menu, lose the progress. And now it says Nine Fables. What in... what? Okay. That was very strange. I don't know why it said eight fables, but okay, good. I just made an additional backup because that backup is before I gave any of the pages, I believe. Just because it depends on what we do today, but I might, if we beat the game, I might want to do like load that backup and then try the whole like Gnosis needs pages in order to save the people, the fish in the breach. And then we just go and make the fucking crown, like, max crown, and then go back to Noses and be like, Sorry, guy, I don't have your pages, and just see what happens. I'm curious about that. But yeah, okay, um, now we're here again, and now we have all nine fables, and... Excuse me? I did save... I'm glad you returned. What? What is happening? I mean, sure, I guess I'll redo this too, but I just don't understand why it's even happening. And speaking of, I wanted to talk about this whole Alethia thing, because I, I realized something while editing that I didn't really think about. I was kind of concerned with, like, should we... Shit, what's that word? Encourage, that's the word. Encourage Alethia to be more, like social and relying on others and stuff and the like the thing about that was oh she wasted so much time like training the twins and me to like help her out and stuff and she might like in the future it would be more efficient and stuff but the problem with that is obviously there is no future we're cycling it's the end of the game but Alethia doesn't know that Alethia doesn't know that her teaching us stuff won't, like, exponentially speed up her process over the coming years or whatever. So that's why I feel like it is a better idea to enforce, not enforce, encourage this whole, uh, new Alethia that isn't just, like, selfish or, not selfish, but, like, self- only trusting herself and relying on herself and no one else. Self-sufficient. Um, god, there's some other word. That I can't even think about. But yeah, anyway, let's redo the stuff I did, I guess. This is really annoying. 
Unless I did something. I wonder if I did something. Should I? Okay, hold on. Test. Menu. Load this. Will I be in Gnosis' place? Yes, I am. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to just load that back up. Okay. Now I start here. Oh. Did I end it off here? I did, right? Okay. I think we're good now. I don't even know how much you're gonna see of that. I might, like, cut out most of that, because that was completely fucking pointless. Just... Random backup nonsense that I guess I fucked up with. I don't even know what happened. But I, I think now... I'm fine. Talk about the crown? I want to make the crown. Heh, you don't have enough pages, buddy! You've got nine. Come back when you have at least ten. But there aren't ten pages, Elil. Okay, good. We're back in business. I don't have to, like, redo everything. That was so weird. So now I've already talked to Alethia, and I've given Gnosis, like, two sets of pages. Good lord. Well, now, let's get back into this stuff, and let's find out more about the truth. Welcome back. You have nine pages. He'll need four of them. I'm ready. Very good. It is done. I have made some discoveries about you this time that are quite intriguing. Firstly, it may surprise you to learn that you are the author of the pages you've been collecting. Not surprised in the least. I fucking call that like so early on. They were written by you during a past mortal era as a record of the events that transpired. Worsen it, is, is it also gonna be you were the god during that time? It would appear that once the new world had been created, has been created, your role shifts from advisor to historian. Is this something you already knew? I mean, I did, but did my character? I did know that, I'm not sure how, but I did. Um, I might say I had a hunch about it, because like, that's what I felt. It's not, I didn't know that that was true, but that was what I would have bet on. And I did, and I was right, so... Yeah, I'll say I had a hunch about it. The writing was oddly familiar to me. Or I had no idea that might be the case, or I did know that. I'm not sure how, but I did. Indeed, perhaps hearing about my recovered memories has started to, to, ah, has started to awaken your own. But there is more. But wait, there's more. As far back as my memory now re reach... Memories not now reach... You have always been with us. And you have always been a god. I mean, I kind of figured that too, I suppose. Like Amar, Alethia, and myself, you were not ascended from a mortal state. Your divinity is inherent. Thank you. Perhaps you were even capable of creating worlds at one time, despite your in inability to do so now. Of course, disregarding the details of your past, does this mean I can seize the crown for myself or something and, like, create my own world? That would be fun. Doubt it, though. Your role during this part of the cycle is crucial. Without you, none of us would be able to create anything. So I'm a god, too? I'm not sure how to feel about that. Is there anything you've remembered about me you're not sharing? Sure. If I were to relay every bit of mi minutiae about my memories to you, we would be here for ages, and you would learn little of consequence, you say. That's the thing, like, Elil said, Gnosis will always tell you the truth, but that doesn't really mean anything. He, like, what Gnosis says is true does not necessarily mean Gnosis will tell you truthfully about anything. You know, so I'm pretty sure Gnosis is like holding, withholding some information. I'm giving you the facts I believe you will find most relevant to your identity. Nothing more, nothing less. Well, so I'm a god too. I don't, I'm not sure how to, how to feel about that. Understandable. 
I too was overwhelmed when I first began piecing together the fragments of my lost memories. But I commend you for seeking out this information regardless. Not everyone is willing to do what it takes to learn the truth. Alright, I think that's all for now then. Thanks, Gnosis. Of course. At this point, I feel I am close to learning the full truth about you. Bring me five more pages, and we can finally get to the bottom of all this. I'll be going now. Hey, Elil. Hey, Elil. And yeah, also, something that, I mean, it's kind of obvious, but I haven't, like, said it, I don't think, that when you talk to Elil about the pages the first time, and he was like, oh yeah, you can make the crown, but there might also be something else you can do with them later on. Clearly, Elil knows about this. Like, initially, when Nosa started t talking about the pages and, like, oh, he needs the pages, I thought, like, oh, shit, this is something, like, I'm giving the pages to him instead of Elil, but that's not the case. Like, Elil knows that Nosa wants the pages and there is that possibility in this cycle because he's probably seen it, like, a hundred times or more. Eh, nothing. Who will create the world? Still not Gnosis, at least, but, I mean, that might not mean anything. Yeah. Okay, well, nothing here. Just cross-checking. Oops. Teleport back to Elil. Just have to make sure. And here we go. Let's do the last one. And probably give Gnosis, like, the power of the creator. This might come back to bite us, but I'm committed. I have some pages to give you. Our past trades have empowered me greatly. Thank you for that. It seems you have five pages now. I will need all of them to finish reconstructing my memories. And if I am not yet powerful enough to create the new world, this final exchange should make it a certainty. Yeah, like I said, it's... If you go down this route, it seems like it kind of just bypasses all of your work so far, and, like, this is why I also make backups, because I, once we've done this, I definitely want to just, like, finish the game normally, just to see what did my natural choices lead me? Where did we end up? Is it Ketrianesti? Is it Lutra? I don't even know. I really don't feel like it should be Lutra, because I feel like Lutra is the one I synergize with or uh, resonate with the least. I like Ketrinesti, I like Alethia, I even like Amar quite a bit. So either of them, or any of them, I think would be better than Lutra, personally, but somehow Lutra just really likes me, I guess. But yeah, there we go, shall we proceed? Go for it, Gnosis, enjoy your powers. Very good. Dot 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 dot. Dot 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 dot. Gnosis? Is everything alright? Yes. My apologies. I needed a moment to process what I had seen. I know who you are now. But before we discuss that, you must die. I will tell you something I have known since the beginning. I am the creator you wrote about within the pages. I also knew that. I mean, or at least I had a hunch, once again. Because, I mean, it was like when he said the thing about, like, if he was the creator, he would maybe find a use for the people that disobey. The world you described was my own. And I plan to make it that way once again. It is the best possible world for the mortals to inhabit. What? You could have told me that before! Why did you deceive me?! I see, but you'll only get to do that if you become the creator. I'm just gonna say that, because I, I kind of figured. I am very confident that will come to pass. The god who accumulates the most power here in the ocean is the one who becomes the creator, so not necessarily the one that likes me the most, huh? And with your help... Oh, so that's why Lutra is, like, so powerful, because he probably got a lot of those, like, sparkle stuff? Things? Electricity? whatever, but he also got, like, dislike, so that's kind of an interesting thing, too. 
and with your help, I have become vastly powerful indeed. Now, as I promised, I will tell you who you are. When the cycle was first put into place, the original creator surrendered their powers of creation. But they didn't want to be removed from the process completely. It's me! I, I knew it! I was the creator! It's like, okay, so I gave my powers of creation to these other gods, but I remained as an observer or whatever. Just to be able to, like, influence stuff. So they locked away their memories just like the other gods and became their advisor. Because they wouldn't remember the events of previous worlds, each one would feel fresh and unique. There would be no more boredom. So, you are the original creator. Dun dun dun! Did anyone see it coming? Or what's left of them, at least. Which means, it is because of you that we are all consigned to this cyclical process for all eternity. I mean, not really me, it's past me, who has no influence on, or like, no connection to me. I'm good. Why? Uh-oh. Here we go. Why must the cycle exist? Do you even know the answer any longer? Probably not. Oh, suddenly I'm just like all godly and I can just say everything, okay. The cycle needs to exist because it's only fair that every god gets their turn to create. Is it? Like, that doesn't answer it. Such a power should be shared, not hoarded. That makes no sense because I created these gods, right? Like, I gave them the power of creation. So, I can't say that, oh, I made the cycle because each god, like, that's a paradox, that, oh, I made the cycle so that each god could have the chance to create, because I made each god have the ability to create because I made the cycle, right? The cycle needs to exist for the sake of the universe. Stagnation sets in when something remains the same for too long. That could be true, that could be what we go with. I don't really feel like it should exist anymore. I made that decision as a different person, and now I can't undo it. That's what I honestly feel. I kind of- I want to, like, break the cycle if it's possible. That would be more the most interesting, I would say. But maybe that's a bad one to choose, like, initially, because you would want to cycle a couple times in your save file before you, like, do that. But that's what I find the most interesting, even if this might not mean anything, because... Maybe we can't break the cycle at all, but I'm gonna say this one. Cannot? Or will not? Your memories may be locked away, but how much of your original power is also restricted? Perhaps we will never know. But for now, none of that matters. Are you saying that, like, maybe now that I know I'm the creator, I will find that I do have the powers to break the cycle or something? I will create the new world. I will give the mortals the peace they deserve. And I will allocate what resources I can to unraveling the secrets of everything, including the cycle itself. You created this system, so whenever, wh whether you agree with my methods or not, you too must abide by its rules. Oh, and... Thank you again for bringing me the pages! I could not have done this without your help. Bye! Oh, he's still here. Sup? Wanna talk about something? Oh, he doesn't want to talk anymore. Or it. Hey, Gnosis! Sup, buddy? Oh, he's- wow, he turns towards you, I didn't even know that. You can, like, swim around? I just assumed you couldn't go this way. Reaching out a tentacle towards me. Huh. So I guess this whole room is not like... Whoa! There's like change in it. Though wait, isn't this... I guess there was sand like... Yeah, it's, it's just a giant dome, probably. Yeah. Oh well. Alright, hey, Elil! 
Uh, maybe I should end it off, but then again, I don't know, like... I don't know how much I'm gonna cut out of that. Probably a decent amount, but then I did have a long talk about Alethia. It's like... The question is how long this is gonna take. If it's just the ending now, that might be kind of a long thing. Maybe I should just do one of those, like, double things. Like, I'll keep recording for now, but if this ends up taking another, like, 20 minutes, then I'll probably end up just splitting it somewhere, and we'll just do without an outro and intro for something. I, I feel like that's probably the best idea here. So yeah, let's keep on going for now. If this just takes, like, five minutes, then this is probably one episode. Heh, so... Now you know all about yourself, huh? You know the infinite cycle, this endless death and rebirth of the universe. That was all your idea, and it was set in motion by you an eternity ago. How you feeling about that, buddy? It doesn't seem like it was my choice. It feels like someone else did it, and now I'm supposed to take ownership of it. It's familiar, just the tini tiniest bit. I don't remember making that decision, but I think it rings a bell. I don't know, I'm not sure if my identity feels any clearer now than it did before. Uh... I mean, it's definitely one of these two, but... I don't know. Is this too whiny? Like, why are people blaming me? I'm not the guy. Like, I guess, I mean... Oh, yeah, I'm the original creator, but what does that actually mean for me? I don't know. But is this gonna give me any answers if I say this? I really don't know. Maybe this is better to say because this is more like, I don't like what's happening right now and I kinda wanna break it. Let's say that. Makes sense. Without any memories to back this stuff up, I can see how it wouldn't sound real. But it's all true. I remember it, even if you don't. Of course, you didn't get this information about yourself for free, did ya? Gnosis is very powerful now, thanks to you. Practically guaranteed to become the creator. You ready to see what happens? I don't regret my decision. I'm kinda looking forward to seeing how Gnosis manages things, do I? Gnosis worries me, but I had to know the truth. I think it was worth the trade. I'm not so sure now. The more I think about it, the more concerned I am about what Gnosis will do with the new world. I mean, yeah, like, he, according to the pages, like, it's, it's an efficient world, I suppose, but what more can you ask? It's not like any of the gods here would have a perfect world, right? Like, there would be problems with all of them, so I'm just gonna say this one, I think. Ha ha ha. Sometimes that's how it, how it is, eh, buddy? Your curiosity gets the best of ya. That's something Alethia could relate to, I bet. Unfortunately, though... You won't get to keep this knowledge forever. You'll have it during the era of the new world. But once that world ends and the cycle begins again, you'll be back to square one. That's what's... That's what's curious. Like, does that actually mean what it means? Because I, as the player, will obviously remember all of this, but the game might not acknowledge that. Like, it's just gonna be the same game anyway. We'll have to see. No more memories. It's pretty funny. Gnosis found a way to hold hold on to a few scraps of information that would always tempt you. Will you make the deal again next time? How much how much will your identity matter then? Only time will tell. Anyway, I'm glad you're happy with the choice you made, buddy. And soon you will certainly get to see the repercussions of that choice. Uh -huh. Well, I mean, that's kind of... kind of it. I want to make the crown! You don't have enough pages, you got zero! Ask about the gods? Let me think about that. Lutra or Gnosis? Come on, Lutra, you can do it! I'll, okay, for now, I'm gonna say Lutra. I hope it's Lutra and not Gnosis. That would be like an upset. But he did say it. It's all but guaranteed. Gnosis can't say how much he likes me or his way of thinking. Man, now I kind of wish I was uh, even more like supportive of Lutra so that Lutra could be the new creator. But yeah, 
it's time to start the new world, I suppose.